I like to go on a swing. Um, slides. Do you do a lot of stuff with your friends? Yeah. Um, I sing with them, and I play with them, and I play with my ball with them. <laughs> Sophie is a happy and silly and funny little three-year-old girl. She always had these wide eyes and it always looked like she was taking the whole world in. And at first glance you wouldn't even know anything's wrong with her. It takes studying her genetic makeup to understand how severe and how frightening her future looks right now. The day we received her diagnosis, it was the scariest and worst day of our lives. We heard a couple doctors say words that you never want to hear as a parent, which was, I've never seen this before. Sophie was diagnosed with MCTO, which stands for Multicentric Carpotarsal Osteolysis Syndrome. She's one of 30 known cases in the whole world. There's no known cure or treatment Basically, you just are given a really bad prognosis of what's going to happen in the next few years with her body. The prognosis is really bad. She will potentially lose function of her hands, her feet. She might not walk. We may at some point have to consider a kidney transplant for her. Like you're not supposed to hear news like that, especially when it's something so rare that effectively nobody in our state knew what it was or how to Mommy. deal with it. Mommy, it's okay. That means more. We really didn't know how to process it. We kind of jump into just problem solving mode. Whether or not it was a crazy idea, we just started the 501c3 in her name and dedicated every ounce of our time and energy. Sophie's Neighborhood is a 501c3 organization that was founded to fund research into finding a treatment or cure for MCTO. There's just no funding dedicated to this disorder and because it's so rare, it's not attractive to major pharmaceuticals. Right now we're racing the clock because we know that we don't have a lot of time to kind of preserve quality of life for her. We're just sort of pushing everyone that we come into contact with that we can't wait a few years because sometimes research can take years or even decades and we don't have that because this isn't just something she has, this is progressive. We do physical therapy, occupational therapy. She wears braces on her hands and her feet. She has medications that she takes every day. It's just to treat the symptoms or to slow down the progression of her disease, but none of it actually cures it. Thinking about the future is scary. Um, I think every parent just wants uh, the best for their kid. My hope, honestly, is just that she stays happy and the sweet girl that she is because she has a spark. I try not to think about the future too much. The only way to keep sane is to just be with her in the present and live day to day. And after we put her to bed every night, that's when we kind of get to work on our computers and, and try to figure out how to find a cure for her. The doctor is um, a patient. <laughs> Say that again. A doctor is what? As a patient. Takes care of a patient, right? Takes care of a patient.